All right, so it was warmer out there today, but yes. we're still in this gray trend. What it is that leaving us? It impacts your energy for sure, because like, we haven't seen the sun since uh, it's set on Sunday night, most of the state. You know, uh, and a lot of us will wait until Thursday. Mm. So if you didn't get it today, it's Thursday. And and see if you can pick out on this map who did see sun. Let's roll it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Berlin, maybe? Maybe Rangeley? You could see those oranges. That's all it took. Wow. Poco, uh, just a little hole in the clouds, and bam, 70s. Lucky. 71 in Bangor, they got sun briefly, and the rest of us saw none. And that's it. But we're still in the 60s, upper 60s. 10 degrees above average, no sun. Tells you a lot about this air mass. Visible satellite showing you thick clouds pretty much everywhere. There's your break in Bangor. There's your breaks in the mountains. There's the sun starting to lose the angle on it about 5 o'clock, which is a bummer. Nothing really on the radar, though. And we talked about how yesterday it was going to be, yesterday how it was going to be cloudy, but not really that rainy. And that's pretty much what it is. There's not much rain out there. A couple of sprinkles, a little bit of drizzle in a couple of spots. And that's how tonight will go, too. We'll largely just see isolated showers. And we wait until tomorrow to see the real rain move in, especially, say, late morning into the middle of the day. Heavy bands come in with the storm backing in from the ocean. And these oranges and reds, you know, mean really heavy precipitation. So there'll be some downpours going through. This is a, a tropical field of the air mass that allows more what we call precipitable water. So more moisture to put down as downpours. And that will impact down East Maine tomorrow night. And it could linger there a little bit longer over down East Maine with some slightly higher rainfall totals. We'll clean this whole thing up late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then Thursday looks great. A lot of sun, upper 60s in a lot of spots, and just a much nicer feeling day. Finally, consistently seeing the sun. And we'll turn the corner into the weekend on the same note. So rainfall amounts here about an inch to an inch and a half. You can see from most of the state. There is a possibility that down east Maine and northern Maine may get stuck in a band and end up over this amount. So just be aware of that. Shouldn't cause too many problems. Um, and obviously the drought is pretty much gone now, so we don't necessarily need the rain, but we're getting it anyways. That's how it works. The low moves out, cold front sweeps it out, high pressure builds in. Weekend looks really good. It's looked good since last weekend. A lot of sunshine, not as warm even as today, for example, but upper 50s to around 60 with sun as you're about to get into um, November. Like it, enjoy it. No complaints, please. Oh, I once again forgot about Halloween on the seven day. Oh, this is just, sloppy. it's a real hack job on my part, especially since I like Halloween so much. But clearly I'm not thinking about it. Um, <laughs> that Halloween looks good. I, I'm watching Monday night. It's right on the line as to whether or not any showers will get in Monday night. Mm. So we'll keep an eye on that. I, my sense is that for the kitties, the trick or treat during the day, or daylight yeah. should be fine. We'll just watch Earlier, the yeah. night for you party animals. Isn't it funny having every Halloween movie ever to the kids are trick or treating at night and it doesn't happen. No, like the little kids don't do it. No, they go out at like they four. Go early. Yeah. Well, it's bright. Anyways, right. I know we're tight. Go ahead. Thanks, Keith. Yeah.